Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a speed ramping and motion blur transition tutorial. Speed ramping is really good for transitioning into your next clip and adding the motion blur to the motion blur just really adds to this effect. So, how do we do that? First we're going to go to this first clip and where it's about to turn we're going to go, we're going to show keyframes and we're going to click speed. Now I've already done that. So, we're going to get the point tool up you can either click there or press P on your keyboard. We're going to highlight that point where it starts to turn, and then if you just hover here, we'll take this up to about 500%. So all the way up, and there we go. Now, if you hover on the left side of this point, you can drag it out. just to make that a bit smoother now if you watch that go through that looks a bit better we can also add speed into this next clip so we'll take that roughly to the same near 500 and we'll also ease that out Okay, now this looks pretty good, but just to add more emphasis to this effect, we're going to add motion blur. So if we come over here, type in directional blur, I've already got it, put it onto our clip, and go into effect controls, come all the way down, where it starts to speed up, as we can see here, we're going to toggle the keyframe and go forward one, make out of the keyframe. Because we're turning directly right, we're going to put it at 90 degrees and roughly around 11 blur lengths. So we've done that for that clip. Now we're going to do the same on this clip, add directional blur. We're going to add our keyframe. 90 and 11. Gonna go to where it starts to stop. Toggle keyframe. Forward one more. Toggle the keyframe. And zero. Zero. So if you watch this back through, you can see that transition is now really good and looks much better than before so that is it for speed ramping and motion blur thank you for watching make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel